Hello everyone and welcome. You know, it's been over a year since I did a review of a battery operated cordless blower. At that time, I tested a 40 volt cordless blower that was big and bulky. This time I decided to test a more lightweight unit that runs on 20 volt batteries, so it's also much more affordable. Since spring and summer are just around the corner, I know many of my viewers will be looking for a new blower to clean up your yards. That's why I decided to test this new blower from Sam. Now a couple of months back, I did a review of the Sam cordless impact driver and I was pleasantly surprised at how well that unit performed. I'll put up a link to that review video in the corner of this video if you're interested in a cordless impact driver. So since I was very satisfied with their impact driver, I decided to give this 20 volt cordless blower a chance and see if it's any good. This blower kit brings the blower plus two 3 amp hour batteries all for less money than the cost of a Ryobi, a Bauer from Harbor Freight, or even an Atlas from Harbor Freight. Since those other units come without batteries or charger, they cost much more when you compare it to this kit. So let's test this 20 volt cordless blower kit and see how it performs. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button that way you get notified every time I produce another product review video or DIY video. All right, let me open this puppy up and we'll be right back. All right, guys, when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. Now, this is the same 20 volt cordless leaf blower available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this kit retails for $149.99. But they also have a 10% discount coupon on their Amazon page, making it even cheaper than that. And if I happen to come across any additional discount coupons, I'll be sure to put it in the description down below. So check that out first. Before you do anything, you might save even more money. So what do you get when you unbox this guy? Well, you get the blower head unit itself. You get a couple of extension tubes to make it blowing easier for you, cleaning up yards and so forth. You get a couple of 3 amp hour lithium ion rechargeable batteries to use for this guy, 20 volt batteries. And these are 3 amp hour batteries, so they'll give you quite a good long run time. And the beauty of it is also that they are Makita compatible batteries. So that gives you a lot of peace of mind down the road. You know that you don't have any compatibility issues when getting new batteries for this guy. You'll always be able to find compatible batteries to fit this blower. You also get a rapid charger that will charge up these batteries in about an hour and a half. And you also get a shoulder strap to make it easier for you to carry this guy around if you choose to do so. But it is very lightweight so you may not even need that. This guy comes with an 18 month warranty and the dimensions on this guy are 33 inches when fully assembled and I'll show you that in a moment. 11 inches in height and 4 inches in thickness. And it only weighs 5.6 pounds. That's what I said earlier. This is a very lightweight unit. Anybody should be able to handle this guy without any trouble whatsoever. The output on this guy is 580 CFMs at 65 decibels, which is really, really quiet. Trust me, I've used a lot of blowers over the years, and most of them are really quite noisy. 65 decibels is really very quiet. And this guy puts out about 25,000 RPMs. It has three speeds to choose from, and the high one will give you up to 30 minutes of runtime, and on low, it'll go up to 70 minutes of runtime. And the beauty of this kit is that it brings two batteries. So you use one battery, when that runs out, pop it on the charger, keep going with the other one. That runs out, keep it on the charger, and go on with the next one. Keep on going as long as you need to without any trouble whatsoever. This guy has a nice rubber overmold over the top here, making it easier for you to grip it. And it also has this shoulder strap like I mentioned previously. So this blower is really great for people that don't want to mess around with gasoline and oil when using a blower. And it's also great in some states out there that are starting to ban gas powered blowers. So you're only going to have a choice of a battery powered blower. So no more noisy, smelly, gas powered blowers. This 20 volt battery powered blower is great for cleaning up your yard, sidewalks, patios, and more. Being battery powered means no fumes to deal with, so it's also great for cleaning your shop, garage, or any indoor areas. So let's test this guy out and see how it performs. All right guys, so well, let's get this guy assembled and start testing and see how it performs. But before we do that, I wanted to show you one convenient little thing about this guy. It has a nice flow through design where basically it takes in the air from the back and I'll show you that in a moment. The fan is standing right here in the middle of it and it sucks the air straight through. So the air has a nice straight through flow design to it, giving you greater efficiency. As you can see it right there, you can see the fan right there and that's what it activates and sucks the air right in through the back here. On some other blowers, you have the air coming in from the top 
bending over, going in sideways, or from the bottom and going sideways. So that bend is going to slow down the air and reduce efficiency. Going straight on through, you have much greater rate of efficiency and should get more power out of this guy. So to get it going, oh, let me point out right here is where you attach your shoulder strap. So that's very easy to do right there. I'm not going to use it, but if you want to, that's where you attach it right there. And the guy stands up very easily. You stand it up right there, need to put it down somewhere. It has like feet built into it down here. So it makes it very easy to stand it up when you need to. The battery, all you do is slide it in on the back. Right there, you're good to go. And that is what the battery looks like right there when you install it. As far as the speeds go, you have a one button right here for selecting the different speeds. And it's basically a long press to get it turned on and then two short presses to go through the other two speeds. A long press to turn it off and that's it. So very easy to do. One button controls everything. You can do it with your thumb as you're using this guy. So very, very easy. Let me show you how that works. That's how easy that is. Turn it on, turn it off. One finger will take care of everything right there. Now to get this guy put together, let's do it this way. This guy right here, it has a little button right here that goes into this opening right up here. Slide it in there, press it down, and it slips right in. And that one piece right there is secure, you're good to go. You can use it that way if you want to, but if you want longer reach, then you have the second one here. And this one has a couple of openings on each side and it has a couple of buttons that you press right here to get it to slide in. So you put that in there, get it lined up. So you slip it in there, kind of hard to do that way. Slip it right in there. And there you go. That one goes in really, really snug, but it's a good, nice, tight fit. That is what the blower looks like when it's fully assembled. You can see it all right there. So there you go. So let's go outside and test this guy out and see how it performs. All right, guys, so here we are in my backyard, and it is a total mess right now. See, we've had a lot of windy, rainy days over the past few weeks, and I have not had a chance to clean up my backyard. So there's a lot of leaves and stuff here to clean up right now with this blower. Perfect opportunity to try it out and see how it can do. And these leaves are still kind of a little bit wet and sticky, so we'll see exactly how it performs. Let's turn it on, and you can hear for yourself exactly that it's not really a very noisy blower. Trust me, a lot of the other ones are very, very noisy. So let's kind of clean up the leaves back here, see exactly how it does. It's blowing everything pretty well. You can see a lot of the moisture still on the ground where it just dried up for the first day in quite a while. So uh, actually some of this stuff is rather sticky and I'm surprised it's doing this well. Really, it's blowing it up very, very nicely. So there you go, quite a bit of power coming out to it. And let's clean up all these leaves right now. And I'm not going to be cleaning the entire backyard. I'm not going to make you watch all that stuff. I'm just going to hit the heavy piles right here to show exactly how it can handle a whole bunch of leaves. And this is quite a heavy pile right here. You can see it still has quite a bit of moisture in it. And it still blows them around quite nicely. So that's doing a pretty good job. So there you go, look at that huge pile of leaves that I picked up right now in just a couple of minutes and it really did a good job. This blower has quite a bit of power for only a 20 volt blower. So that's pretty nice right there. All right guys, there you have it, a review and demonstration of a powerful yet affordable and lightweight 20 volt cordless blower. I think this is a really great blower from Sam. You saw that it was able to blow a bunch of wet, muddy leaves in my backyard without any real trouble. Using this guy during the summer when everything is dry will give you even better results. For a very affordable price in this kit, you get the blower plus two, three amp hour batteries, which is more than most other kits on the market will give you. When compared to a Ryobi or a Bauer, this kit from Sam gives you more value for your money. The other brands either cost more or don't even include the batteries or charger. Plus, those other brands have a shorter warranty. 
Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.